Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at how I personally use my Synology NAS to automatically backup files as soon as they're created on my PC to the cloud. So in summary, the local file will automatically sync to my Synology NAS and from there it will automatically sync to the cloud. This is the way that I ensure every single time I save a file, it immediately gets uploaded to the cloud and if anything changes, it will automatically get removed from the cloud as well. Now this will be more of an explanation on how I'm using these tools. I have individual tutorials for everything we're going to be looking at today and I'll leave those in the description of the video, but we're just going to talk through this and hopefully it will make sense by the time we're done. So first off, I have Synology Drive set up. Synology Drive is one of my favorite applications that Synology produces and this is one of the big reasons why. So inside of Synology Drive, I have a sync task set up that will automatically back up my individual documents folder to the documents folder inside of my drive on my Synology NAS. So if you're looking at it from a folder perspective on your NAS, it's gonna be inside of your home folder, and then it will be inside of Synology Drive, and then the documents folder inside of there. So I have two-way sync set up for this, and what that means is that anytime a file is changed on the source or the destination, so that's either on the local PC or on the NAS itself. Anytime a file is changed, it will automatically sync to the other location. Now this is very important for me because I have multiple devices. So I have a desktop, which is where I'm normally working, but I have a laptop as well. And one of the problems that I always faced prior to getting my NAS is that I would have individual files on my desktop, but they would not automatically sync over to my laptop and that makes sense. Each one of them had their own documents folder. Now I tried to alleviate that problem by using services like OneDrive or Google Drive and those did work but the problem is that I had to pay for storage space and truthfully I didn't want all of my documents always syncing up to my OneDrive so I would still store a few files locally and then everything that I wanted to sync over to the laptop I would use OneDrive or Google Drive. Now with Synology Drive, this actually makes it way easier because I am managing everything, so I don't mind syncing everything to my NAS and then syncing everything to my other devices as well. So inside of here, when the files get synced to my NAS, if I create a file on my PC inside of my documents folder, it will automatically sync to my NAS immediately. And after that, if my laptop is on, it will automatically sync to my laptop as well. So anytime a file is created, I automatically can access it on any device that I am connected to. Now that's for my individual documents. If you are collaborating with other users or you have some specific files that you'd like to share with another user in your house, for example, you can use Synology's team folder to do the exact same thing. You'll have to sync the team folder to a location on your PC, but then at that point, it will function the exact same way. Anytime anything is changed, added, or deleted, it will automatically change everywhere else as well. Another one of my favorite features is that on Windows 10, I am able to free up space if I'd like. So realistically, I'm not gonna be using all of my documents all the time. However, being able to download them is the important part. So I can free up space, and what that will do is that will store the version on my NAS, and if I double click it to open it, it will automatically download it from my NAS. Alternatively, you can pin it locally as well, which means that it will always store a version on your PC. And if anything changes anywhere else, it will automatically download that. So the next time you go to open it, it will automatically be updated. So that's why I love Synology Drive, but I tried to take it one step further. And just because the file automatically gets synced to my NAS, that's great. But I also wanted an encrypted version to get synced to the cloud immediately. So what I use is a cloud sync. And what I did is I created a new sync, which will automatically take my documents folder and it will sync it up to the cloud. It doesn't matter which provider you're using. I normally use Backblaze B2, but for this, I just set it up to sync to Google Drive because it's a test, but you can use realistically whatever cloud provider that you want. The other thing that you can set up with this is you can set up client-side encryption. So what that means is that every single time the file is synced from your local NAS to the cloud, it will automatically be encrypted. So if anyone was to get access to that individual file, they still wouldn't be able to access it unless they had that encryption key. This is different than if you were to use something like Google Drive, for example, because when it syncs from your local PC to your Google Drive account, it will not be encrypted. 
Now, that's not a problem for a lot of people, but it is a problem for some people. Some people do not want any of their data on the cloud or at least accessible from the cloud. This kind of solves that. So this is how the data gets synced when it hits my NAS automatically to the cloud. Now, I want to be clear that I also set up Hyper Backup. So while I love Cloud Sync, I want to ensure that in a catastrophic event, I'm able to restore an entire shared folder. Cloud Sync doesn't allow you to do that. So I use Cloud Sync and Hyper Backup in tandem. Hyper Backup is more for my disaster recovery. Cloud Sync is to ensure that the file gets to the cloud immediately. I would say that for the majority of people, this is overkill. Meaning if you just want to sync the files directly to your NAS and then have Hyper Backup manage the backup that night, for example, at least you'll know at that point that every single night, all of your data is getting backed up to the cloud. The reason I have it set up this way is because I'm working on individual files a lot of the time. And when I lose progress, I'm losing, you know, tons of time. And for that reason, I want the data in the cloud the second I update it. It's overkill. I hope to never have to use it, but it gives me some peace of mind that the file I'm editing or the video I'm editing is immediately getting uploaded to the cloud. And if anything happens, I can always get that cloud version and I don't really have much to worry about. So to be clear, I do use both, but that doesn't mean that you have to use both. I just wanna you know, be totally transparent about that. So now that I explained everything that I'm doing, I'm just gonna quickly demo to you exactly how it works. So what I did is I just created a test file and I'm gonna drag that test file into my documents folder. And what you're gonna see is that file will automatically sync to my NAS and I'll be able to view that on my NAS. The second thing that you're gonna see though is that in the top right corner, it's immediately gonna sync using Cloud Sync as well. So at that point, within a matter of seconds, the file goes from my local PC to my NAS and then to the cloud. I don't have to worry about anything. It's automatically there. If anything changes, it will get changed as well. If anything is deleted, it will automatically delete from the cloud as well because I'm using bi-directional sync for everything. Bi-directional sync is on for Synology Drive. It's on for Cloud Sync as well. So whenever anything changes anywhere, it automatically gets synced everywhere that it has to go. So this process has actually changed a lot for me. And it did things that I didn't think would actually happen when I was implementing it. So for example, I got a new PC, and rather than having to transfer all of my files to that new PC, I just installed Synology Drive, it immediately connected to my NAS, and all of my files were downloaded on that local PC. At that point, the sync to the cloud was already set up because I'm using the same user account. Now, I'm not trying to imply that this is a full PC backup because obviously it's not, and you should back up your PC using whatever tool you want to, but this is how I personally use Synology tools to manage all of my data and ensure that it gets backed up to the cloud. Never have to think about it, never have to worry about it, it's all just automatically done. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Please give the video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.